There has been a surge of interest on the complexity of city as economic system. However, as far as we know, there is little understanding of the dynamics of the interaction between human and his immediate environment. That is, the urban setting shaped by architecture design and urban design. In this talk, we would like to use the ecological system as a reference framework to discuss an alternative model based on ecological understanding of the interaction between organisms and their environment. Then I will set a few case studies that show how the spatial temporal properties of urban setting and human behavior impacts on the dynamics of the interaction. In the final part of the talk, we will propose a project to build a computer simulation to model the dynamics of human environment interaction. As you may be aware, ecosystem consists of many different species. These species feed on different things and form a food web that exploit whatever available resources including nutrient, water and space. The result of this is that many of the critical material gets recycled within the system so that the system perpetuates. This simple model was refined by using complex system dynamics to build more realistic models for ecosystem organization. A key concept for this new model is temporal niche. That is, organisms are active at different times. When species are active at different times, they do not drive each other extinct, leaving one fittest species in an eco ecosystem. Imagine these two plant species share the same location. One is a shallow-rooted species acting active during spring, while the other one is deep-rooted species active during summer. Because they are active at different times, they are able to draw on the same resources without competing for it. Human ecology are driven and constrained by the same set of forces. I shall show the, show the case in the following story. It is because of the lack of understanding of city dynamics that many cities are running into trouble. Now let me recount the story of urban economy and urban setting first analyzed by Jan Jacob nearly half a century ago. <laughs> In the 1960s, downtown Manhattan had about 400,000 employees working at Wall Street and a number of other work complexes. Th this huge crowd were neatly packed within a workable district where one can easily work to anywhere within 15 minutes. The demand of food and other services of this crowd ought to be able to support a variety of restaurants, department stores, entertainment facilities, etc. However, this is not the case as Jacob told it. Yet the district is miserable at providing services and amenities proportionate to the need. Its eating place and clothing shop are pitifully inadequate in number and variety. The district used to have one of the best hardware stores in New York. But a few years ago, it could no longer make ends meet and closed. Outside of the big office that formed the breathtaking skyline of Lower Manhattan is a ring of stagnation, decay, and vacancies. Why is this happening? Well, as Jacob identifies it, the problem lies with the pulsing consumption manner. All demand on services concentrated over two to three hours a day at lunch break. The shop owner described it as this. They came in like high tight. The first group floods the store from noon to just before 1 p.m. Then there is a short breathing spell. A few minutes after 1 p.m., a second group spills in. A few minutes before 2 p.m., the store goes dead. The solution for a viable economy is to have tempo niche differentiation. That is, to have the populations using the services at different times of the day. The spatial diversity in the environment is as critical as temporal differentiation. The reason that coral reefs are the most fertile hosting ground for a multitude of marine life is that it offers different sides of space. 
The different sizes of caves, holes, valley created ideal habitat for marine lives of different sizes. Marine lives of smaller sizes are kept safe from big predators because they can hide themselves in the small spaces that are inaccessible to their predators. A good example of successful human ecology is the design of Lois Thomas Lab. It was constructed in 1983 at Princeton University. Spaces are deliberately set up for multiple use. We sought to provide a variety of different kinds of spaces within the building. Closed, quiet spaces for contemplation and uh, individual work. Open public space for spontaneous activity and discussion out of the laboratory. And research space that also encouraged the continuous exchange of information between investigators. The insights draw from these case studies are important but do not offer a systematic understanding of the complex interaction between human and his building environment. What we propose to do is to build a computer simulation to model such interaction. We will specifically focus on a. How different population diversity impacts on distribution of temple niches and system stability. b. How space, spatial heterogeneity impacts on system stability. We propose the following three stages for the project. Stage 1. Build a prototype simulation to model interaction based on literature review. Conduct the experiment. Observe and interview participants on how they use space and facility in a simulated environment. Contrast the basic dynamic features of search interaction. Stage 2. Refine the simulation based on the result of stage 1. Develop a computational agent with adjustable parameters that capture the key behavior of human when interacting with the environment. Observe how computational agents use space and facilities in simulated environment. Alter the parameter to validate the result. Stage 3. Establish a comparative study to collate the results from previous two stages. Refine the simulation models with the findings from the first two stages. This can lead to future studies for evaluating existing theory on interaction between human behavior and their immediate environment and develop an alternative framework for evaluating current architecture and urban design theory. Thank you.